Hey, Dan Passerelli here. Almost kind of quiet day in the market. Uh, the SP 500 is up nearly 1%, uh, which, you know, it's a pretty quiet day. There's a couple of things notable here, though. Uh, from a technical standpoint, the S&P 500 did close above its 50-day moving average, which, of course, is a very significant level. And often we get some follow-through when we see that happen. So we're going to be keeping our eye on that. If we look at some of the sectors, the strongest ones here were the... Um, the tech ETF, the communications ETF, and then the energy ETF, all uh, just looking at the spider ones. And now, typically when we see that sort of picture happen, typically that that's a little bit of a more bare look on interest rates, you know, like maybe the rates could be slowing down and I guess I attribute that to probably one of two things or maybe both of these things. I mean, first of all, we've got the inflation numbers this week. Um, you know, maybe there are some traders thinking that they could be a little bit weaker. I don't know. I don't know why they would uh, have that opinion. I think that's more of a wait and see scenario. But I have been reading a bit about the midterm elections coming up. And um, I think that maybe some, you know, some investors and traders out there were speculating on uh, the party getting elected that would be uh, weaker for interest rates, right? Uh, that would that would lead to lower interest rates or at least less uh, high interest rates, like, you know, putting the brakes on them a little bit. So that's kind of what I'm inferring here. And so if over the next couple of days we, uh, you know, we see that happen, we could have a rally up towards the upside. Uh, and if we don't, I think we'd have a pullback that said, we're also going to be watching the inflation numbers this week. So, um, you know, middle of this week is going to be pretty important. Keep an eye on this stuff. This is Dan Passarelli. Hope that helps. Trade smart.